uh, we have presented today, sorry, we have presented at the AAM this year, uh, uh, really evidence about the long-term efficacy and safety of Ocarus, both from our open-label trials, which have been going on for a while now, and that continue to, to show, on one hand, the sustained efficacy that you see on MRI measures, on relapse rates, progression, etc., but also the really favorable benefit-risk profile. And that's, we feel, really important, especially as the new AN guidelines just, just come out now about early treatment. And the fact that now everyone recognizes the need to intervene earlier in the MS disease course to prevent long-term disability. And therefore, we know having a favorable benefit-risk profile really allows you to do that. So some of the data we're presenting is around that. Uh, the other data is really about the impact that uh, Ocrevus has on measures of progression. For example, cognition, biomarkers of neuronal loss like neurofilament life chain. Uh, and what we're seeing there is something like on cognition deficits, we're seeing a about 40% prevention in a disability, so of the reduction of their progression rate for, co for cognitive deficits, and actually the subset of patients improvements in cognition, which is remarkable. And on a neurofilament light chain, this is a biomarker of neuronal loss, so it's released into the CSF when neurons die. And we're showing, after a single dose of Ocrevus, that you see about a 50% reduction after 24 months. Uh, of 24 weeks, sorry, of, of, the, of the amount of neurofilament light chain in the CSF. So that's, again, direct evidence that the drug is preventing de the degenerative aspects of uh, MS. Uh, Ocrevus, in lots of ways, is, 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 is such an important medicine because it is the first one that has shown efficacy both in relapsing patients as well as in progressive patients, right? And up until now, no medicine has ever shown benefit in those patients. We want to continue to explore the benefits that Ocrevus has for progressive MS. And not only in the patients for which it's already approved, but actually for patients that are currently, you know, more advanced in their disease course and for which what's at stake for them, it's not so much mobility, like lower limb function, but it's really upper limb function. So the ability to maintain, um, let's say, hand function and that how much that how, how important that is for a patient who is, let's say, has loss of mobility. So we're actually about to start a study where we will look at the preservation of upper limb function in patients with progressive disease more advanced in their disease course. And on, on the other side, we're actually really interested in, in changing the way that people evaluate progression and changing the perception that, pro, 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 that progression is something that happens only later on in, the, in uh, MS. And we all know that there's evidence that patients, even the relapsing patients very early on, have symptoms and have progression underlying their, you know, their relapses. So we're, we're actually launching as well, and, and it has become live yesterday, this tool called Floodlight, where we're using digital and mobile apps to essentially uh, have patients track their own progression. And that means you, patients would be uh, using a, uh, an app that's downloaded into a mobile phone, into a smartphone, and using a series of passive tests and active tests to look at things like hand function, mobility, walking speed, etc. And by collecting these really high-density quantitative data, we can now detect progression much better.